What's unique about hand surgery at Mass General is that one is there's a tremendous history around Mass General. Uh, the first uh, limb replantation was performed here. Um, there have been a number of very influential surgeons that have uh, really changed the face of orthopedic surgery, plastic surgery, hand surgery here. Not only do we just do the whole breadth of hand surgery, which, is, which basically includes arm also, but each of us have little, little areas of interest, uh, which allows us to bounce ideas of each other. And there's internal cross-pollination. Our team here in hand and upper extremity surgery is awesome. It's awesome because we all work together and we love learning from each other. We actually meet multiple times a week um, just to discuss challenging cases, interesting cases, and teaching points. So we're all always learning from each other. Whether it's via non-surgical methods, whether it's therapy, whether it's rehab, whether it's surgery, all the tools that we have with one primary goal of improving patients' outcome and quality of life. People who have dysfunctional upper limbs will oftentimes uh, have a significant slice of anxiety and depression. Brushing your teeth, combing your hair, pulling up your pants, going to the bathroom. Everything is affected. And I'm talking just activities of daily living. We always want to keep in mind that uh, our intervention, our surgery, may open the door for a brighter future for all, all persons. I think there are multiple instances every day uh, that are very fulfilling. Uh, whether it's a patient having a good night's sleep after having carpal tunnel release, uh, to a patient who is using his arm or hand for the very first time after a major, major injury such as a complex fracture or a brachial plexus injury, or even patients with congenital deformity. Like I saw the patient today and today was the first time he ever raised his arm above his head after his injury two years ago. So to see something like that uh, just brings immense joy and happiness. I like when a patient actually understands what's happening and thereby understands the treatment that's being offered. Like I don't want it to be a black box. So sometimes they can teach me about their life and their problem. I can teach them about what we know about their problem and what I know and what I could offer. And then we work together to figure out what would work best for them. And that doesn't have to be surgery all the time. And a lot of times actually it's not surgery, but it's just figuring out the combination of our shared knowledge to get the best outcome we can. This uh, woman who had a bad stroke at a very young age and her hand was contracted and the elbow was contracted. And we worked on her, made her arm straight, made her wrist straight. And uh, when she came to see me, probably four months down the line, her husband says to me, you have no idea what, you, what you've done. I said, why? She said, well, the first time in eight or nine years, she was able to hug me. 